And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday, January the 6th, 2020. Today is the Feast of the Epiphany, celebrating the day when the three Magi visited Jesus and left the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, as it says in the Gospels. James Joyce's famous short story, The Dead, set at a party for the Feast of the Epiphany, the story which ends His soul swooned slowly as he heard the snow falling faintly through the universe and faintly falling like the descent of their last end upon all the living and the dead. Joyce used the word epiphany, used it to mean the revelation of the whatness of a thing, he said, the moment when the soul of the commonest object seems to us Radiant. It's the birthday of Joan of Arc, born on this day, 1412. Her parents, peasants in the French town of Don Remy. She began seeing visions when she was 13, believed that Saints Michael, Catherine, and Margaret were urging her to defend France against the English. The English who captured her and tried her for heresy. She was found guilty in part on the basis of forged documents, and a confession that Joan, who was illiterate, signed without reading, and she was burned for heresy in the market square in Rouen in 1431. She was 19. It's the birthday of Carl Sandburg, born Galesburg, Illinois, 1878, poet and folk singer, folk song collector, author of children's stories, and author of a six-volume biography, of Abraham Lincoln. And it was on this date in 1907 Maria Montessori opened her first school in one of the poorest neighborhoods of Rome. She believed that teachers should pay attention to the students and not the other way around. She believed that children liked to work, and so she had them sweep and wash up and garden and help make meals, and gave them a lot of unstructured time for self guided learning. It was on this day in 1942, the first around-the-world commercial flight landed in New York City at the seaplane base at LaGuardia Airport. It was a Boeing 314 called the Pacific Clipper, flown by Pan American Airways. A luxurious plane carried 74 passengers, had couches and thick walls, a lounge, Passengers at meals sat down at tables covered with fine linen. The food was served on china plates. Here's a poem for today by Faith Sheeran, Early Hominids. In one museum scene, they're bent over fire, and in another, they hold their first stone tools while the Ice Age approaches. They have been painting mastodons and mammoths in their caves, art already in their animal grasp, and they have been leaving footprints in volcanic ash, shedding their skeletons in deserts. They have begun the journey from trees to suburbs, have been dressing themselves in early hats and considering an alphabet. The young Neanderthal looks like a boy who bit you on the playground, and the woman beside him might be the woman we avoid at the grocery store. This is evolution, hair loss, math, a desire for furniture. Already they worry about predators and weather. Already they have designs for a more comfortable bed. A poem titled Early Hominids by Faith Sharon from her collection Telling the Bees, published by Austin State University Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well. Do good work and keep in touch.